Hey everybody, Anthony here, FSU Off-Road. If this is your first time joining us, I just want to welcome you to the channel. Make sure you take two seconds, hit the subscribe button down below, I'm trying to grow the channel up. Really helps out, make sure you hit the like button first and foremost. Today, we're back here in the garage, working on Tinkeria here, and got a quick video. Trying to get a front bumper mocked up on the chassis here. Let's get to it. Like I said, working here on the front, trying to build a front bumper to our build here. And what I kind of want to do is I want to kind of want to build off of this tube right here, which is our sway bar uh, bar that's going to be have our sway bars to the front axle. Um, so I want to build off of this and attach it to the chassis. The only downside to building something right here is it's going to have to go through the grill one because I want to save the headlight air bezels here for actual lights. Um, in the future we're going to put lights in here and I want to be able to use these for our lights. So with that said we we'll have to build something out from these bars and um, across the bar inside the grill here. It's not a problem. I'm going to show you what I have in mind to do this. Now that I'm here on the whiteboard, I kind of want to show you what I want to do. So we have our, this is from a side profile view. You have your sway bar and then your main chassis bar and then there's another bar up here. What I plan to do is use a straight bar with and then use a, 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 um, a bar to connect to our straight bar up front, have this on some type of C-clamps, and then run a secondary bar here, a little bit smaller, with Heim joints. And those Heim joints are going to be the same Heim joints that we're going to use on our sway bars. That way, if we ever break a Heim or something ever comes loose and we need to replace that Heim, we'll have a replacement Heim actually on the bumper itself. So that's kind of what it's going to look like from the side. And if you look at it from a top profile, it'll those bars will go through the grill. You'll have you know the front, I'm going to call it a bull bar, and then this will go down to our sway bar. It's kind of what it's going to look like. We might actually build a secondary support in there with some gussets, things like that, but that's kind of what we're shooting for. Like I said, in order to utilize this front bumper style build, um, I've got an OD clamp here. And it's a two piece clamp and what it'll do is it'll actually clamp on top of this on the internals here. And we're actually gonna gusset this as well on the internals um, for additional support one and two, um, possibly additional mounts and things like that for lights, maybe a light bar or whatever. But by having this clamp removable, we can have the bolts on the outside, underneath, wherever we need it, and we can weld our tubing off of this to our actual, I'm gonna call it a bull bar. So that's kind of how I'm gonna design this, design it around these, get these in place, kind of build it up from there, and then we'll finish with the pieces in the center. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your f***ing cloud, it be raining now. I can make it sound, go another round, I'm looking down, can't stop me now. See it's starting to come together and how it's going to align so we'll be able to connect a, another tube from straight here back to the actual chassis and this tube here and then what we'll do like i said that heim joint will be the same that'll be on our sway bars both front and rear and um the overall profile of it it kind of looks funky now without the top bar being on there and we might shorten it up just a little bit on the sides but shouldn't have any clearance issues with winches or anything like that 
Try to get you a profile of it. We'll start taking off this front grill, make a couple marks to where the bar up front will go there. And like I said, we're gonna use a hime that'll be off of the sway bars, same hime. We'll attach to the actual chassis and we'll bolt it down behind the thing. The only downside to this type of design is you have to take the front grill off to take the bull bar off. But in the grand scheme of things, these four little bolts is not a big deal. I don't even know if you really need to take four of them off, probably just these top two, uh, just to be able to get uh, wrenches or whatever behind it to take those bolts out. So <clears throat> we're going to start working on this, hopefully get it mocked up. Our homes will be here tomorrow. We'll be able to install them. So we need to cut some brackets, get our tubes built, and um, see how it, this thing is going to turn out. You don't wanna fuck with me. A slow burn like a deceiver. Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things that you couldn't believe. Just tell me that I Now with the grill off, you can kind of see how it's going to attach to this inner chassis here. I wanted to make sure it was low enough to where there was a gap in between the actual grill itself. So unfortunately, without the actual tube inserts in my homes, I can't really build off of this. But what I can do is I can cut out the brackets that'll secure it to the chassis. Uh, I've, I've got some scrap eighth inch material I've used for the back. I'll just do the same thing and I'll probably also build a few gussets in here to make this front bumper a little bit stronger. Bull bar, whatever you want to call it. And then I place this far enough out to where we could take the grill off and get, uh, have access to those bolts. That would give us plenty of room for that. If not, it's just tack welded in place, no big deal. But it's coming together. Just wanted you guys to check this out. Went ahead and got the side, gusted it on both sides and the top here. That way this will not want to rotate or shift or anything like that. And this will obviously su supply some additional support. <clears throat> and then this will just make this more robust on impacts. And like I said, this load is going to the, the main chassis there, which is gusseted here. So it's a good transfer. It's not exactly perfect. But then again, um, you're not taking a lot of load forces. Well, hopefully not right there. So I went ahead, got our tabs cut out. I uh, got four of those. We'll double shear our hom joint here and here. And then we'll cut our tube to where we need it. That way our inserts can go in, get our homes in place, uh, get those welded on here. Put the grill back on. And aside from final welding, that's going to be our front bumper, bull bar, whatever you want to call it. They say anything negative, cause I just want to hear it out your mouth, yeah. Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use to go ahead and run my out. Check this out. Got the front grill on there. And it actually worked out better than I had originally planned. I don't even have to take this off. As long as I can get to those bolts, which I can do once you raise the hood up, um, you can just take those two half inch bolts out. And with the hams being radius that way they are, you can just take this whole bumper off without even having to take the grill off, which is a plus, because um, I was planning on you know having to take the grill off. But that makes it, even better but this is going to be our design it goes to the chassis both places we'll add some additional support there for the lowers because this like i said is going to be our sway bars let's add um, additional you know extra times for our sway bars it's something that can get beat up we can replace it easy um, it's easily removable 
if we need to do that. There's just lots of benefits of having this. Um, and I, I'm, I'm pretty proud, happy with the way that it turned out. Anyways, that's gonna conclude this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you take two seconds, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. Um, hit the notification bell, it'll send you an alert whenever we get new videos uploaded. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned.